Welcome to our MyWorks lesson on the puzzle map of the United States of America. This presentation will go much like our world puzzle map and our continent puzzle map presentations, but we've added a few different ideas that you can show your children. When your child is ready and has shown interest about wanting to learn more about the countries in the continent of North America, we are picking this because we live in the United States of America, you can bring out the puzzle map of the United States. And what's fun with this is this lesson can take weeks if not months to complete because you're going to want to show your child, for instance, we live in Illinois. So here is the state of Illinois. The state of Illinois is part of the country of the United States of America. And then you can put the state of Illinois on the control map. Now, here's where you can really take your time and pick apart the information that's available for all of these geography lessons. Before your child can move on to another state or learning about another state, we bought this book at our local bookstore. You can go to the library and get child designed atlases or child designed books of the world. And inside this book, it goes into great detail about the continents, about our planet, our planet's a sphere. And then you'll want to find a book that details and has facts about each state in the country of the United States of America. You can do this work for all of our continent works as well. So if you're doing the continent map of Europe, when you get to Italy, find a book much like this one where it's got fun colors and child appropriate descriptions and then your child can learn two facts about Italy or in this case two facts about the state of Illinois before they move on to the next state. And this work will go exactly like all of the other maps in our geography lesson. Wisconsin Wisconsin is directly above the state of Illinois. It shares a border and it also shares a portion of Lake Michigan. So all of this is just about exploring their world and in this case the United States and then continue on. Once your child has enjoyed exploring the puzzle map of the United States of America and has learned the names of the states, has put it on the control map and learned how to put it back into its puzzle foundation, here's another idea for what you can do with your child with the map of the United States. When your child is ready to put pen to paper, much like we talked about in our continent lessons, then they can choose to make their own map of the United States. You want to make sure you have lots of colored paper on hand because as you can see there's lots of different colors for each state. And one thing we like to show the children in the classroom is how to be responsible with the paper that they have. So for instance, if they're going to take Minnesota and they put it right in the middle of the paper, then that might mean that the other paper, the rest of the paper will be wasted. So one of the things that we make sure we do in the classroom is to make it a challenge for the child. Let's see how much of the paper or how many states we can fit on one piece of paper. Keep in mind, this is going to be a long project. It's very time consuming to pin poke out all of the states in the United States of America. But once they're familiar with the names of the states, have them maybe just do all of the yellow states so they can trace all of the yellow states on one piece of paper. That way you're teaching them to conserve paper because we're trying to show our children how to respect our earth and how to take care of our earth. And also it gives them a little bit more of control because they're isolating all of the states to one color. Once they've traced all of the states, 
then they can pin poke them out. And again, this will take a lot of time. Another thing that you can do if you refer back to our continent lesson is after the child has pin poked out all of the states in this case, then they're going to glue it onto their paper. And one piece of advice that we have for you is have your child start maybe with Texas, the biggest, and look at it in perspective to the piece of paper. And then the next state that touches the state of Texas will get glued onto their paper. This way their map will naturally progress and be glued in its proper form versus just trying to put states on a piece of paper, then they'll find that they don't have enough room. So start with one state and then work their way out with each state that touches itself. Enjoy this lesson.